Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. So we've been looking at a few EEPROM programmers and things and uh, this LON store here actually comes with an EEPROM adapter, uh, the KPROG. And I did actually try and get it working and I couldn't seem to get it working at all. Um, so what I did to actually get this working was, and I'll um, just get the, get the camera right so you can see it. Okay, there's there. Okay, I'm just going to adjust down the backlight a bit. There we go. That's much better. Now you can kind of read what's going on. Okay, so back to the home menu. So very annoying getting this working. I plugged it in and didn't work. Everything I tried didn't work. Did the update didn't work. So what I did is I went to um, settings. And I looked at all of these ones here, reset, restart, nothing there. But one very funny one here, bind adapter. And I thought, oh geez, is this like one of those things you gotta, the only thing I've heard of uh, binding is like your drone or uh, something along those lines, maybe your camera, but you actually need to bind this adapter. I have no idea why. And when you bind it, the adapter is binded to this machine. This is what they call the host, that's the adapter. So you can bind multiple adapters to your machine but once you bind that adapter to this machine you can't mix a match which makes no sense to me i think that's just a money grabbing type thing but anyway we bind the adapter when we bind the adapter funnily enough when we go into um where are we here adapters it's able to actually to pick it up so eprom common so this is a problem we're having before 96 c56 that one there. Now I've actually got it all set up. So the way I've got to set it, I've got the machine and then I've got the cable on the back of it, your standard main cable. That has the OBD on one side and it also has another 16 series of OBD. Then it has this plug up here so these two are connected. Wait for lighting to adjust again. Okay, so now that's connected there. I've got this cable going over to this board which uh, it came with and check that out It's looking a bit cruddy these days. Never even used it um, like Today's the first time I've ever used it And then I've got this af aftermarket sort of one on the top here that comes over to my uh, peg Then I've got a chip in there for testing. So let's go through and see if we can get it to read and write so read Please supply 12 volt power supply and connect the okay well we've got that yep so now it's going to ask what type of chip it is there's some of the options there and i'm just going to go for an 8 bit and 56 where are you let's go for that one looks right okay looks okay so it's going to ask us to give this one a name we two Okay, so it's going to create a bin file. No chip response detected. Maybe I've d detected the wrong one. Let's try again. Okay. And the chip is on there. Should be right to go. Okay. Okay. V3. Okay. Okay, so reading finished. I was just selecting the wrong one. So um, basically, we gave it a the file a name we three, and it's finished. It's read it. Okay, so I could write the data here if I wanted to. I could go okay. Select the chip that I wanted. Uh, where was it? That one. Okay. And okay. And then we could select the file that we wanted it to be. There is an SD uh, slot in the back of this, so in theory, yeah, you can put all your files on them, call them what you want under the immobilizer, uh, make a model, and then just scroll down to which one it is. There is a little slot like just up here. So we're not going to blow uh, that file back to it, but we could if we wanted to. Cancel. Okay. So I guess that's a, a handy feature to um, basically read it make sure you're onto it and then just write straight to it but i don't have an ecu to actually try that now that we've got the file in the system under we three let's look at something else now so we're going to go back to uh, under adapters you've got eprom mcu uh, adapter tools and hex editor let's go hex editor hex editor hex editor 
downloading see all this was working now it's working now once I binded the adapter everything was working but where were the instructions saying bind the adapter you know went through a lot of heartache trying to work that out okay now files files now I had to go through all of these once again to find out where I was putting my files and here it is here we three bin so I can have a look at it here so let's hypothetically say that um, you know you got the file out and you need to edit it or you don't have the virgin file or something along those lines or you're being directed over the phone to what needs to go where you can actually do it okay so let's just try here position one this one hit right here let's see if we can edit this zero zero there let's change that to a uh, an eight eight close close and save file save file uh, file name exists please confirm if replace okay saved okay so now we've done that let's see if we can write it to prove that this thing actually does work common uh, right chip right data okay type of chip already worked that one out okay okay we three file which we just edited it okay writing verification writing finished okay so now let's read it and see if that 88 appears in position one or not so we just need to select uh, which type again okay okay now we're going to go we four okay 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 uh, finished so it looks like we're good there so what we've done is we've read it we've written 88 in the position one in the first block then we've written to it now we're going to go back to the hex editor to see if 88 appears in our file hex editor open file file and it's right down the bottom under feature 29 and there's we four and there it is there 88 so it did actually write to it so the little chippy here is successfully been written to so what does this mean it means yes you could use this um, instead of dragging around your um, your EEPROM programmer it's not going to do an auto search or any other, other fancy stuff that the EEPROM program is going to do and um, you know you are kind of limited to these boards and things and I don't know how often you're actually going to want to squeeze them up there but they do work and for using this type of little thing then yeah and the ability to look at the hex and do that without a computer I guess that's kind of handy what would be nice if you could just put a key in here a master key go right it'll change all that zap it down to that and then you'd be on your way kind of like that thing was meant to do but didn't anyway got the lawn store eprom programmer working and uh, if you've got any comments please leave them down below remember this is the first time i've got this working i don't I am not a guru at this sort of stuff I'm just working my way through it so if you've got any comments that will help or help other locksmiths please leave them down below and thanks for watching